Why do retired doctors never answer their cell phones? Because they have no reception. Ooh. Okay, weak joke. Sorry about that, but we have a strong soap offering today. Welcome to Shave and Butcher. Um, Westman Shaving asked me to review a couple of soaps and aftershaves. So, Tiago sent them to me and now it's time for reviewing them. I'll start off with this one. This is, this is quite new, I think. It's called Habitus. Um, I quite like the label, actually. And the main reason for liking the label is that this very much matches the scent profile. I don't know if that was the intention, but it, it certainly does. Uh, and I'll get into that. Uh, I've, I've used this once before. I'll use it again. I am, uh, that's what the pour looks like. I am going to load it from a bowl. I'm not going to bowl ladder. I'll just scoop up a bit of soap, push it. Okay. So how much do we use? Okay, that's quite a bit. No, actually, that's pretty, pretty good. Soft soap. Soft soap, like a crop. So what I'm doing is I'm just pushing that to the bottom of the bowl. This way I won't make the soap wet, as I usually do, but lately I've been uh, sort of feeling, you know, it's, it's a bit of a shame to, to mess them up. I haven't really experienced soaps deteriorating more because you load from the, from the container. But you never know. And you will be introducing some level of dirt into the soap. So anyway, this is what we're doing. My, my typical brush for new soap bases, synthetic, Grey Dogs, Full Moon. I use it a lot, I use it all the time. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just, I got a moist brush squeezed out pretty much all the water I could squeeze out and I'm loading the brush in the bowl which is very easy because it's such a soft soap and then I will face lather ah. uh, it's best of two worlds I hope that's enough we'll find out it should be enough so um, actually, you know what? I've made notes today, and uh, I'll try to remember some of them. I really should have had port wine, but I have uh, Argentinian Malbec as per usual. Cheers on a Sunday evening. Okay, so almost like a real YouTuber, I made some notes. So. I'll Start with the scent. So, pretty classic citrus, floral, you know, woody musk in from top to bottom. So, top notes are bergamot, lemon, and then all the hides for a bit of a kick. Heart notes are, are floral, so rose, jasmine, and a touch of peach. Hmm. Base notes for the long-term scent, basically, is Mary's Musks, I think. Is that an actual scent or is the musk? Yeah, I think it is. Musk, cedar, leather, oak moss, sandalwood. So pretty classic setup, right? Um, and yeah, okay. And I'll, I'm really well prepared for this. I shouldn't make notes, I should just ramble. So I'll get to what I think about the scent shortly. The soap base is new for Tiago. It's a vegan soap base. I've tried four or five of his soaps before and I really like them, particularly for 
for the scent. I don't know how he does it, but he, he nails scents really well. Um, so this is this is vegan, and it's his first vegan sope. So, cocoa butter, mango butter, stearic acid, cocoa butter, castor oil, avocado oil, kupa shu oil, maybe. It's good. It's seed with one of those funny things underneath it. I can never remember how to pronounce them. Jojoba shea broccoli oil. Ah, there you go. It's like we're on a diet. Glycerin, sodium lactate, which I think you put the soap to, to, you know, to shape it the way you want it. And vitamin E. Huh? Okay, so I've worn, I'll lather up and talk. I've worn the scent because I have, I have an aftershave. This is, this is the emulsion. There are different versions of aftershaves. Um, I've worn it for two days, straight. And first when you put it on, you think, hmm, uh, that smells nice. And I think, because I, I typically like, I wouldn't say darker scents, but I, I like musk and uh, sandalwood, cedarwood, that sort of thing in the I'm actually using not a laurel soap I find interesting so we should see I, I use load more the last time so this is a for me a pretty thin coating so, so I've worn it and it's one of those where you discover new things throughout the day and in the end, towards the end of the day, and today, for example, I've been out working quite a bit, bit of bit of sweat, bit of outdoor sort of uh, experience. Adding water slowly to this one. Uh, so towards the end of the day, the the scent sort of mixed with your with your natural. Smells, which in my case I think is <laughs> musk at the end of the day. Um, so I always smell the best at night. Well, I'm not sure if everyone would agree to that. But wow, is this a good scent setup. Really sophisticated, uh, perfume like quality which you don't always get in artisan aftershaves. You know, they can be, they can be boring, like one dimensional. They can be uh, very strong. So you smell as much of Asian plum at the end of the day that you did in the beginning. And that, that's not how a, a, a perfume scent should work. You know, it should be a bit of a voyage throughout the day. And I've, I've been really enjoying this one for two days. Uh, it's not a dark scent. It has this anchor of a bit of musk, a bit of wood, a bit of leather, quite a bit of leather actually, I think. And that it's exciting and interesting, much like a lot of the sense that Tiago makes. I mean, I like Mores um, Masa Gram is, is a favorite, which is um, a, a Portuguese drink that I still haven't tried. And yeah, really, wow, a journey of, of, of sense. I might purchase the Eau de Toilette because there is one. There's this emulsion thing, which is like a liquid balm, similar to Singari Man's recovery splashes, but probably a little bit better, actually. Uh, and I, I've tried loads, uh, several before, and the, the, they work really well. Bit of moisturizing, but no, not like a balm, no stickiness. Uh, go straight into the skin. It's just just good stuff. Good stuff for you. No alcohol. It, it's we 
Rich Hazel based. And, but you can get two different other versions of aftershaves that are splashes if you want the, the traditional stuff. So, so wow, wow on the scent. To be honest, one of the best I've ever tried. My favorite soap scent probably is, what is it called? It is actually Singari Man. I'll reach down and see if I can find it. And I can't. Yeah, here, here we go. Watchman. Doesn't, you know, very different. But yeah, I don't know why I brought that up, but it's very nice. Okay, so soap, the soap base. So I've added quite a bit of water. So I I think quite a few people would go with this for shaving. You know, nice little peaks. Very shiny. Huh? There you go. Probably your, your average leather. I'm gonna add more water, because I usually do, because I I, I want to take the lather to the point where the lather falls off the, the, the straight racer that I have today um, by gravity. Okay, so that's, you know, you wait a few seconds and boom, falls off. That's where I want the lather. Different people want different things. So I'm going to add a bit more water. see what we have. I'm gonna add a little bit more. See, I didn't add an excruciating amount of soap. A little bit less than usual. I just, boom, lathers up. I'm really working this, the water into, into the soap. It even smells, it tastes rather nice. Okay, see where we're at. Nice peaks. So this would be your showboat lather. This soap, compared to Tiago's previous versions, is higher density, lower volume. You can already see, you know, it's sinking down by gravity. So it's quite moisturized. So normally I would add even more water. And maybe we should, I don't know. Yeah, what the heck. But it's a, it's a pretty lather, it's a beautiful lather, shiny and and more, more similar to these high, super high density leathers that you, that you see. Like the one I used the other day, what was that? Uh, McDuff's. So more similar to that. Can you see how shiny it is? Okay, so a serious amount of water in this one. still say there are other soaps that create even less volume where no matter how much soap you put in it doesn't it doesn't grow some people love that this is a high density low volume soap but more to my liking because it looks a bit more like like shaving soap. I think sometimes they can take it a bit too far, this, this low volume thing. Okay, so we have a German racer, Tukma. Never been sanded or anything. Still looks good, looks pretty. 
nice patina on it. Okay, so let's see how we do. It's a soap, so it's slick, but you can see, you can see I, I could have put even more water in it, could have. Ah, very nice. So the feeling you get when you when you put it onto your skin is is oh here we go here we go boom shakalaka so it does fall off the razor brilliant um, yeah so this is like much like Tiago's other soaps that I've tried. I've tried Alma, Ribalta, Adamastor, Masa Gran, and the Green Majeres. So this one really makes you feel silky in the skin. I've been outdoors all day working in the garden, trimming bushes in the garden. So my skin is quite dry. And then it's nice to get one of those soaps that sort of feels like it enriches the skin. If you, if you put shaving soap on and you shave, your skin's gonna be a whole lot drier than when you start it. So no matter how moisturizing the maker says his soap is, it still dries the skin. Damn good razor as well. Um, I mean, if nothing else, you're removing oils and fats and stuff that exists naturally on your face, so obviously it can be drier. That's why I like bombs. The scent, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm really poor at describing scent. But it smells expensive. Actually, it does remind me a little bit of the Watchman. So you have the sweetness, which sometimes I can feel is a bit blah, but it isn't here. So you, definite sweetness. Sweetness wasn't in the scent description. Maybe that's the floral thing. can smell the lemon quite distinctively, which you typically do when you start with the soap, you know, start mixing it up or, or when you just put on a perfume, you often get a, a citrusy type of, of smell and then it disappears. But it's very present here. And I, I can't honestly identify the leather, a bit, bit of woody touches, but not leather, not musk yet. Comes later. It's bloody brilliant. Okay, so very nice first pass, particularly thanks to the razor. But you know, the, the skin feels good. No dryness, no irritation, in spite of the fact that I've been outdoors and haven't rehydrated or drank enough water, to be honest. Which, when I do, I, I, get, I just get better shape. 
such a good mood that I emptied the wine glass. So the soap has sort of fallen down by gravity, just the way I like it. Again, I probably have, well, I definitely have more water in it than the average shaver. Some will put more water in than I do. And as I said, this is slightly drier than what I'm used to. We put on a second coating, I mean the brush has been sitting there for a while. Perfect, perfect lather. Second pass against the grain. I think maybe this is my new favorite soap sand. I've cheated a bit because I shaved my head before and I put the, the aftershave on the head, so I'm getting that too. Slickness, you know, to be honest, to me, soaps are slick. There are people, many, who say they can determine if a, if a, a, a soap lather is more or less sl slippery. Honestly, I can't. So I, I can't give a verdict on that. My, what separates different soaps for me is, is how you build the lather. How the lather looks. How it feels on the face. And I can tell you, in spite of no animals dying in the making of this soap, because it's vegan, it's pretty damn nice. So this soap feels, feels a bit the way it smells. I need to get the, the eau de toilette. I really need to. Very rare that I feel I need the perfume when I've tried the soap and the aftershave. Very rare. But I've been using the same sort of two, three perfumes for, for years now used to do only Creed Himalaya, which I still like quite a bit. A lot of uh, Pantal Pantaligons, oh God, what is it called? William, William the Inimitable. And what I use mostly is uh, Ancre Noir from, from Lelic. This one is different. I feel pretty in this scent. <laughs> does that sound stupid? Of course it does. But this is, you know, I'll wear it to the office tomorrow. And I will be silly. I'm a grown man, but I will be walking around. Uh, trying to walk close to people and see if someone says, oh, you smell nice.
That's happened like once in the last 30 years. And then, you know, they were probably just looking for a piece of meat, you know, the object that I am. Um, but that's another story. Beautiful shape. Let's let's see how let's see how it feels or feel how it feels. Well, first of all, bloody good shave, which is razor, soap, and technique. No, nothing. Marvelous. But that's not entirely thanks to the soap. Or even mostly because of the soap. It's, it's, you need to have a keen edge and you need to know what you're doing. That's the most important thing. Okay, so the balm. And this is the... God, I can't read. What does he call it? He calls it an emulsion balm. So, so this is, uh, I think I made notes on this one as well, did I? So, uh, uh, so it's gentler, no alcohol, which hazel based, contains moisturizers and other stuff. This one you have to shake quite a bit because it's an emulsion and it will, it's, it's never perfect emulsion, so it, it's sort of, Sets a bit. There we go. Actually, let's let's use some more. You know, be nice to the wife and smell good. She likes it too. I have. She said before I even asked. Usually, I put some put on something new, and I go, "What do you think?" And she goes, mm, "Very nice, cinnamon." And I go, "That's not in the scent note." But then again, quite a lot of balm. You put it on, you can feel it being sucked into the skin. So immediately when you put it on, if you, especially if you put on quite a bit, you know, you feel it's similar to a moisturizer. You wait a minute and it's all into the skin. Bloody brilliant invention. Whereas if you put on a balm, you will feel a bit sticky for a while, usually, depending on the quality. Super good moisturizers go straight in. But this one, it's already in there. No tackiness, not even on the hand. So you can get the splash, obviously. Um, you'll get a burn and that sort of thing. This is much better for your skin, it really is. So Westman do them, Singadaman do them. They call it recovery splashes. Others probably too, but those are my favorite ones. But the scent, so the wood is all already there. You know, bit of wood, bit of, ah. Oh, Smells expensive and well done. So base, good. It's better than all the other artisan soap bases. I don't know, it's bloody good. I can't think of anyone I prefer better. Um, but I'm not gonna grade it. The scent, whew, again, well done. Westman shaving habitus habitus you can find Westman shaving at quite a few retailers in Europe and North America this soap in particular I didn't look there for very long but you can find it at the razor company $25.99 dollars and in Europe uh, Cuchilleria Moreno at Euros 2290. 
that's just for the soap. Is it worth it? Yes. Oh. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and... Anyway, good job. Thumbs up, Tiago. Good job. Next up is Bastardo. Hmm, Bay Rum. Haven't tried Bay Rum since... What did I had? I had Barrister Man has a Bay Rum, I think. That's the last time I used one years ago. So be interesting. Be interesting. Thank you. Have a great week and stay sharp.